Alright, so we're in the multiplayer world here. So I have Luke over here. Luke, say hi. Hello. Yeah, Whoop. so. Yeah, he made the Xcara data pack. And like, he just asked me to test it out. So, uh, yeah, he made the crafting recipe. Now, the way it works is you gotta throw all these items down on the ground. Okay, so uh, that didn't go well last time. Okay, so you just stand back a little bit and it should work. Okay, so. Okay, so now we got X Kara's head. So we just put it on, right? We just put it on and it works. Okay, so it all it almost kills you, but yeah. But because of the server, it just looks like I only have ten health, but it's actually eighty from here. So now you won't have that problem normal play. Anyway. Okay, so uh, first ability is barrage. Right. So how it works is you just press right click. Say barrage. You press right click, and it throws a sword. But now you hold right click, and it sends a barrage of swords. Well, it's targeting look with. Yeah, send a few more in. Yes. Alright, so this one it take it takes up your override power. Like it looks great. Right. Um. Yeah. All right. The next ability. Okay. So the way you switch abilities is you press Q. It works even in the second slot. So wait, okay, so the next sword ability is called agility. Alright, so a second ability agility agility. It actually looks better when it's done from a third person view, so Luke is gonna do it and I'm gonna be here. Alright, so yes. show him agility. Okay. So right now I'm uh, jumping. So which allows me to ground pound a easily. And I can also speed up. Yeah. You just speed up by pressing right click. Yeah, just hold right clicking and uh, you'll speed up. Nice. Uh. Okay, wait. So uh, the ground pound is, is a move, right? So if I spawn a few mobs. I, that looks cool. I'll probably like edit in your point of view, but yeah, that that looks amazing. Yeah. By the way, it uh, use moves. You need this override power, which just a uh, neat feature Luke added. Well, uh, okay. So then anyway, let's move to knife storm. All right. So I uh, just uh, spawn something. I have more zombies. Now, Knife Storm just works with a single right click. Sends a strong knife just on one. Its damage is not too high, but I mean, there are a lot of knives. I think that it should even be. Uh, that's probably my favorite ability so far. Anyway, next ability is a uh, ravine slash. Alright, so Luke sending him more enemies. Ravine slash is a right click to use, and it. 
then the slash, which if mob griefing were off, uh, were on, would definitely make up a beam. So it actually shoots a projectile mid-air, so... Alright, uh, last ability is a throw or pin, so uh, this is like used for one mob, right? Uh, yeah, it's used for one mob, and for this test, we might as well try with an iron golem, just hit him and... Uh, Alright, wait, let me just provoke him for a bit. Yeah, and provoke the iron golem and throw your sword at it. Okay, so right click and you throw it, right? Yes. Right, so he's pinned to the ground now. Only problem is I don't have my sword, so... How do I get it back? Well, you just go up it and you will automatically pick it up. Right. Very useful. Right, so that was all for the sword abilities. Now we have the override abilities. This Okay, so you just walk up to him and then just right click instantly killed. It takes forty it takes forty override though, so you can't spam it but Yeah, it also doesn't work on players, right? Yeah. And it doesn't work on players. Yeah, it doesn't work on players. Alright, um, so that was just one of the overrides. The second one is heal. So for that I need to take damage. Yeah, uh, I can fix that. I let get some splash potions. Yeah, so just throw in more damage. Okay, so that's that's actually a lot more health than it seems. It's just because the health plugin that I mentioned before. So now we just right click to heal. It takes uh, the it takes another forty override power. But actually, it's thirty three uh, in overall power set. Okay, so it takes thirty three override power. All right, so uh, let me just try dealing way too much damage to myself. Alright, so that's more than half my health, so uh, we're gonna try healing. That That's about 20 HP, which is uh, like a full health bar. Alright, so that's pretty good. And now uh, the next ability is called Loyalty. So... So how this works is it takes two mobs nearby and if you right click it turns them into your slaves basically. So uh, no. <laughs> if I hit these, the golems, they go in. Make them up for them. They also follow you everywhere. Golems, yeah. In fact, they'll even hit you. So, do the mobs you ever get freed from loyalty? Yeah, I mean, like, if you use right click on loyalty, you'll free them, and they'll be free to do whatever they want. So like if you use right click again it like removes the loyalty, okay. So that's pretty neat and actually kinda reminds me of a thing raptophobia on the mobs. Yeah, alright, so loyalty and then next next is free fall. Free fall is uh probably the most meme one out here. You just right click and 
throws the nearest two entities in the air. Throws like so, like you and another person, you can just get thrown in the air. Now, even in survival mode, you will survive the fall, but like um, most likely the other person won't. I I think that's all the override abilities. Yeah. Right. So, yeah, I think that's about it. Uh, yeah, that was it for the Xcara data pack. So I give a hand to Luke here. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Just give a hand to Luke here because he actually did like all the work on this one. Yep. Yeah. Apparently, he's the only he's watched Xtale, unlike me. So yeah. <laughs>